Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. If you are a CEO, a minister, a prime minister, a president, a general manager, a senior manager, and you want to be successful in your job, you need to have political intelligence. Political intelligence is fundamental to success in the business sector. It is fundamental to success in the public sector. Without political intelligence, it is highly unlikely that you can achieve outstanding success in any of these roles. In this episode and in future episodes, I'm going to go into much more detail into what it takes to become a politically intelligent business person a politically intelligent public official. We're going to go into the different categories and discuss each of them in detail. Political intelligence requires adaptability because without adaptation, without having this important tendency, how can anybody survive? in a complex environment with a complicated political landscape. How can anybody maneuver if you can't be adaptive? And to be adaptive as a politically intelligent CEO, minister, prime minister, you know, president, manager, you need to have the element of flexibility. You can't be rigid and adaptive at the same time. Flexibility is paramount. Flexibility in all levels. Flexibility in considering options. Flexibility in changing your mind. Flexibility in accepting other people's idea. Flexibility in changing your interpretation, your analysis of a situation. Flexibility in changing course. Flexibility in assessing the situation. So the key to adaptation is flexibility because rigidity cannot adapt. Political intelligence requires a high level of negotiation skills. I'll tell you why. Because the entire concept of maneuvering is about negotiating your way through this maze of a political landscape that is undergoing certain dynamic of power. So how can you maneuver without being able to negotiate effectively? And what is negotiation except, you know, the art of giving and taking in an efficient and effective way so that you and other people can come up, can, you know, together can create a scenario that's viable for both of you on the long term. And as a politically intelligent person, this might be the nature of the game on a daily basis. Because you have your own idea, and other people have their own ideas, agendas, interests. And to move forward, you have to be able to negotiate your way. I accept some you know, compromise here. I demand some compromise there. This is the daily routine of being politically intelligent person especially when you're dealing with a complex system can you imagine a minister prime minister a CEO or a president who doesn't negotiate well or who doesn't believe in negotiations all what you get is just you know walls you slam into walls my way 
or other person's way it doesn't work like this we're talking about maneuvering and to maneuver you have to negotiate your way political intelligence demands courage because how can you be flexible if you don't have courage how can you change your mind if you don't have courage how can you try other things if you don't have courage how can you play with risk if you don't have courage how can you take initiatives how can you try how can you um, how can you provide alternatives how can you take a step back how can you accept failure how can you bounce back if you don't have courage how can you stay on course how can you not give up how can you be resilient if you don't have courage if you don't have courage find something else because my friend political intelligence that is required demanded by people who exercise leadership or are figure of authority uh, are bosses at a level of you know president prime minister ceo minister senior level people much of their job is about difficult decisions and they deal with smart people that kind of dynamic requires that you have the courage to do what it takes to take risks when necessary political intelligence is about risk taking much of political intelligence is about risk taking because you're taking a risk every time you're negotiating every time you're moving one step further remember we're talking about maneuvering successfully in a complicated political landscape where power centers are scattered with different agendas these agendas and interests are sometimes aligned and are often conflicting maybe totally conflicting or partially conflicting but this is not an easy ride so the element of risks of experimentation of trying one idea after the other of risking yourself moving forward is the nature of the game so politically intelligent people are masters of the risk game they know how to play that game they know what to risk what kind of risk to take and what kind of risk to avoid in all aspects of their on our role because relationships are, have a risk element communication has a risk element you might be misunderstood adaptability has a risk element because you know what you're trying might not work flexibility has a risk element because you're trying something new and it might fail so risk is at the core of being a politically intelligent person managing risk at that level politically politically intelligent people know how to fail it's part of the process of adaptation because you have a view of the future but who guarantees that this view will be correct who guarantees that your plans and your strategies and choices will be accurate and right so failure is an important part of the game it's the nature of the game retreating negotiating your way backward forward is part of the nature of the game and having the resilient the resilience to fail and stand up again and look for other options lick your wounds start all over again put your ego on the side focus on focus on your purpose summon enough courage all of that is by default the nature of the political game not only for you but for everybody else who is uh, who is involved in this people who are around you so having 
high teller tolerance a high threshold for failure and knowing how to deal with failure especially at a tactical level is one of the usual routines of politically intelligent people politically intelligent people understand that the name of the game is change that things are always dynamic that today's allies might be tomorrow's enemies that tomorrow's today's enemies might be tomorrow's partners or allies that today you have access to resources tomorrow might not have access to resources that the context that you're depending on might change that entire reality might change and you have to redesign your entire strategies that's how life is and because they are realist and they're practical change for them is natural they're not scared by change when things turn around when things surprise them when plans collapse when people change their mind when deals fail when negotiations fail they don't give up because they understand that it's a dynamic environment things are changing all the time they stay in the game just like you know in football and basketball one moment the ball is in your hand or at least in you with your team and then the wrong move or your you know the other team does a smart move and the ball disappears and it's in their hand but you stay in the game and you keep playing why because you know that it's changing all the time today now it's in their hands tomorrow it might be in your hand so mastering change is essential to becoming a politically intelligent executive adaptability is fundamental to politically intelligent people to having the right political intelligence in business and in the public sector and to be adaptive you need to be flexible to be adaptive you need to know how to negotiate to be adaptive you need to have the right courage you need to know how to deal with risk you need to have high tolerance for failure and you need to have complete acceptance of the reality of change you put all of these components together and then you're on your way to becoming a politically intelligent and brilliant person and i can't see you know outstanding success whether you are you know you're exercising leadership with or without authority whether you are a ceo whether you are a minister a prime minister a king it doesn't matter a manager anybody who was who is involved in some way or form in mobilizing people organizations companies countries ministries governments the world to fulfill a certain purpose to reach certain objective i can't think of success in that domain in this kind of game in this kind of enterprise without political intelligence if you want to be successful in this field you need to work on developing the skills and the competences and the awarenesses that we talked about now does anybody have all of these i don't think so people have you know a very well different mixes of these skills and competences but that doesn't change the nature of the game so what do you do you do a proper audit to understand yourself to be self aware and understand what which of these strengths you have and which of these areas represent a vulnerability and you start working on developing them and if you're smart if you're really smart and you want to save time and minimize minimize unnecessary mistakes you get help you get advisors you get consultants you get you surround yourself with knowledgeable and wise friends you make you sure that the circle around you inner circle even the medium circle around you even the outer circle has permission to send you data to give you feedback and you listen to all of this 
and you incorporate it into your thinking so that you can refine your next move and the other move and the other move and guess what there's no end to this because of the nature of the complex nature of human beings and of systems so you got it right this month in this initiative this year that doesn't guarantee that next year you'll get it right it is part of the process that you surround yourself with everything that you have access to so that when you move forward you're equipped with all the elements of political intelligence so that your purpose is achieved and your goals are established and fulfilled and you avoid unnecessary mistakes because mistakes at this level can mean disaster to you to your career your reputation your brand to the institution to the country to the company to people around you that's the nature of the job thank you for listening to the michael cooley podcast please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email we would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode. And remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media.